guys. Uh, well, to me, this is a beautiful day. Uh, <laughs> uh, been about the last nine days with nothing but rain here in uh, northern Georgia, and I tell you, we've uh, we about had our fair share of it, about had enough of it. And I know a lot of you guys out out in the western part of the United States have been having a lot more trouble with it than we have. But uh, I tell you, uh, about five or six inches is enough for me. <laughs> but anyway. Um, Real quick, guys, just want to kind of give you all an update on what's been going on around here. I uh, wanted to update you on the, uh, the new tomato plant experiment that we've got going on here and uh, uh, give you one last look at the last round of lettuce. Uh, it's, it's right here behind me, and it's, it's uh, surely getting ready to bolt, and uh, we've been eating this stuff, and we just can't seem to get rid of it. We're going to uh, we're gonna harvest as much as we can off of it, and uh, that's probably going to be the last you're going to see of the lettuce. But anyway, let's uh, let's take a quick tour around. I'll show you what's going on in here and uh, show you what we're going on in the raised beds outside as well. Okay, guys, we'll start off here with this uh, huge bolting lettuce I was telling you about. Uh, really enjoyed this, guys. This stuff is just it's um it's on its last legs here. You can see when you start seeing that center post right there getting uh, tall and spindly. It's trying to bolt on us, and uh, we got to get it out, get pick what we can get off of this stuff and uh, call it an end to a lettuce season. And man, we sure have enjoyed it. But uh, sometimes it comes a time when things have to go, and now is the time. And yeah, real quick here, guys, our old faithfuls here. As you can see, we are uh, we have once again have fruit. <laughs> and uh, if you guys have watched the other video uh, where I made my had my little mishap with the uh, with the fogging going on in here, and uh, you'll know what happened to the last of it. But uh, anyway, we're back to producing again, and uh, looking real good, guys. All right, guys, and here's our um, our new experimental crops here, our determinate tomatoes. Uh, I can't even I can't even go down that row over there because they're they're just too big for me to even get that close to them. Uh, but as y'all can see, they're doing really good. Uh, the first one there is the orange blossom tomato, and then the uh, the golden orange tomato is the second one right there. Uh, as you can see, these things, they're covered with blooms. Uh, some of them already set in fruit. Uh, man, these things are really kicked in, guys. Uh, I'm, so far, I'm pleased with the, <laughs> with the results. And I, I've got a leaf over that one right there. I can't... I think that was the taxi. Yeah, that was the taxi tomato. And uh, right now, I've just got these things supported with some... Uh, just some four foot little sticks, little mini garden stakes like you would use uh, in a larger size outside. And I've got them strapped with some twine or, or some of that uh, Velcro tomato tape. And uh, so far so good. I don't know how much taller these things are gonna get. I, I did not, I opted not to put the roller hooks on them because I didn't know uh, how big they were gonna get, but I don't know, I may have to do something different. Okay, and then we've got the uh, BHN876 dark orange tomato which is that one right there. Look, these things look really good, guys. And then uh, last but not least, we'll move down here to, to the KY1 Australian Heirloom from uh, Rob Bob. And uh, Rob, this thing looks good. It's not quite as big as the other ones, but uh, like I said, different variety. Uh, still looks healthy all the same and got plenty of blooms on it. So there you go. See if I can give you guys a perspective shot here so that you can kind of tell what's going on down through there. Just down that row. Cause like I say, I couldn't, I couldn't get too close to them because they're too big. You wouldn't be able to tell nothing about them. And for those of y'all who have been wondering, you know, I, I, I kept telling you I'm going to I'm gonna plant the eggplant, the huge amalpad eggplant, and the uh, mouse melon. Well, here they are. <laughs> I got a late start starting the seeds, but uh, as you can see, we have them now. And they're coming on, and I'm getting about ready to get them outside here soon. Uh, and then we'll be able to have keep up with them. But uh, I wasn't going to let y'all down on this. I promised I was going to grow them, and here they are. Okay, guys, we're outside in the raised beds now. Uh, give y'all a little look at the pepper plants. Uh, doing just fine. Uh, so far, I don't see any problems. Uh, once we got all them grubs out of there where the roots can grow without getting eaten. But I uh, think they're going to be just fine. Uh, like I said, all this rain, they, they'll appreciate the sun that's out right about now. And over to our Vortex snaps. As y'all can see, we got uh, seeds popping up. 
I was really concerned about these because they, all of a sudden right after I planted all this stuff and you know in the last video I shot for you guys um, it just planted this stuff and then the rain set in so it's been raining for quite a while and uh, but uh, I don't so far so good I was afraid the seeds were gonna rot but they didn't and the same with the cucumbers uh, having good success on germination with those in fact I, I don't see but it looked like but about one maybe down there that hadn't popped through yet and uh, but all the rest of them have so that's pretty good uh, and they, they, the other ones will probably follow suit here real soon these seeds just have popped up I didn't think I was gonna get any at all but, <laughs> but anyway looking good on that respect and our onion bed as you can see these uh, last time y'all saw these they I had the tops cut back on them well you can see the tops are growing right on out on them so they're they're taking on off so we're gonna have us some good onions hopefully this year yes sir on the onions guys I, I messed up on the on the varieties of these things in fact uh, one of the one of my subscribers a Virginia country boy was saying oh, you mean you don't have any Georgia sweet onions in there well yes I do <laughs> I kind of got mixed up on the varieties on there so we, we got Georgia sweet right there on the right side and then we've got Texas sweet on the left side so uh, just to clarify that mistake and then last but not least our tomatoes you know I got to be growing me some tomatoes outside guys with our better boys and big beefs uh, really taking off doing good uh, once them once those stalks all the stalk would have got in there from the trench planting uh, I know they're growing roots now so man them things are gonna really take off here soon and then over here on the right hand side we've got our uh, our Rutgers on the left hand side looking real good and then our Brandywine Reds on the right hand side all of them looking good guys Okay, guys, that's going to about wrap it up. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to keep you guys posted on what's been going on. And uh, some kind of fireball shining here in the sky above me here. I, I, maybe if y'all can leave me a comment below and let me know what that is. <laughs> anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm going to keep you guys up to date on what's going on. Um, and uh, happy spring. I uh, hope too many of y'all ain't getting washed away with the rain all over the United States right now. And uh, may God bless you all, and we'll see you next time.